welcome to Katie Fix. Today we are making granola bars. Now these are dead easy as a quick grab and go for breakfast. So make them the night before, stick them in the fridge and you're ready to go. So we're going to start by preheating our oven to 160 degrees, 140 degrees if you have a fan and gas mark three. So dry ingredients you're going to start off with is the Mighty Rolled Oat. Now I'm going to say it, get some decent quality ones because they just taste better. They're just bigger and more robust and yummy and you know, they're not expensive. They're just not. So you're going to whack those into your roasting tin. Just a nice wide one, you want to get it spread out a bit. Then we're going to chuck in 50 grams of linseed. Now I've gone for golden linseed, you can get, I think you can get the darker linseeds as well, which just might have a bit more of a nutty flavour, so you can use sesame seeds instead. Again, really nice nutty flavour to have in your granola bar, and really good for the digestive system. So if you're a little bit bunged up, or something like that, this is what you need to do, because it'll just get everything rolling. So those go in as well. On top of that, we're going to go for 100 grams of sunflower seeds maybe a bit less and those are going to go in as well and then you're going to add in some nut, nice chunky nutty mighty nuts so we've got 25 grams of walnuts and 25 grams of almonds as well almonds little fyi are really rich in vitamin e which is really good for your skin so just get those in you now i'm going to chuck those on a board give them a rough chop just so they break it down a bit don't go too small though, because you want those nice hearty little bites in the granola. So just going to crush those up and chuck those into the tray as well. As I say, give them a little bit of a shake around, mix it up without spilling it. And then literally they're just going to go into that oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Whilst those are going, however, that's when we get all our nice wet ingredients going. So I'm going to start off with 100 grams of butter. Now you can go salted if you're like me or unsalted if you're trying to be a bit healthier. 100 grams of muscovado sugar. Now I use light muscovado because it's just a bit softer in flavour. But the reason you want to use muscovado is because it's a more sticky sugar. It's unrefined. So it means it will really combine those ingredients nicely. And you don't need as much of it because it's quite a strong, earthy, malty flavour as well. So that's going in there too. And then into there as well, we're going to put three tablespoons of really nice runny honey. So get that in there, maybe a little bit more, because I, uh, I really like honey. So let's get that in there as well. And then you're just going to whack this onto a really low heat, because you don't want your butter to burn. And then you're just going to let your butter melt into that, which will not take long on a day like this. So everything is melted and combined. You want to melt it through on a very low heat for a little bit until those, uh, the sugar has kind of lost its granulated texture and gone nice and smooth. Into that, we're going to add 100 grams of dried cranberries. Really nice, sharp flavor. Again, cranberries, really good for the digestive system. So now you're going to take that off the heat and we're going to grab our roasted nuts and oats out of the oven. Okay, so all that's doing, that toasting, is getting them that lovely golden colour and also just brings out their natural flavours, so it makes those nuts even more earthy, it makes the linseed even more sweet and it makes those oats even more robust and they're a little bit crunchy as well. Those lovely hot oats are going to go into the pan and the nuts as well. As I say, that butter mixture is going to work as a really nice kind of glue to hold everything together. Okay, and then to that we're just going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now this is optional, some people don't like cinnamon, I understand, but I personally love it. It makes me feel good, so we're just going to put a teaspoon of that in there. And make sure you really stir it in, because there's nothing worse. Well, everyone's seen the cinnamon challenge, it's not a fun challenge. So that is all lovely and mixed in there now. Beautiful, and then as I say, I'm going to choose my container. Now, even though you've got butter in here, I would recommend just greasing it slightly, um, just in case it kind of sticks at all. So just grab yourself a little bit of butter. And then that's all gonna go nicely into here. Oh yeah. The smell is awesome. It just smells wholesome and like a really pleasant kind of Sunday on a farmhouse. So you're going to push that into your tin 
smooth it out, get it nice and level, and push it down, compact it, because you want to get those crumbs to kind of like stick together. And then voila, there you go, all set and pushed down into the tin. So you're just going to leave it to cool, um, and then once it's come down to room temperature, you can whack it in the fridge, and then just leave it to set for about an hour, and you should have perfectly cuttable, crisp granolas. Now, if you do want the full recipe, then do click the link at the end of the video, and everything will be written there for you, nice and easy. Really good. Really friendly. <laughs>